Hello y'all. Welcome to part 18 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 18, we continued our mission for World Conquest. And right now, let's go to our laws and set limited conscription to all adults serve for our conscription law. And let's also flip partial... Okay, never mind, we can't do that. But the reason why I'm changing to all adults serve for the con for the conscription law is because the maximum division capacity we can have on maximum supported divisions is 150. And hopefully, I'm hoping by raising the conscription law to all adults serve, it will give us less debuffs for being greatly over the maximum supported division limit for our country. And so let let's now go to our research slots, which we have a couple available at this time. Do basic depth charges. I'm honestly just doing stuff that I feel like doing because it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just going to conquer the world eventually at some point. It is inevitable. We will do it. And we have some more military factories. Put a ton of them on support equipment. Just 10. 10. There we go. Put 10 here on artillery. That works. Unassigned divisions. These are garrison divisions. Send them to the 4th Army. Let's also send some of these divisions here from the Rift area, the Rift state, well they, they were deployed there, send them to South America to join the 14th army. And let's actually tr switch where these divisions are deployed. Can they, okay, never mind. But they're gonna go to South America and help fight against the Peruvian, well, Peru, B Bolivian, Confederation, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Brazil. And we're trying to get some victories up here in Northern South America as well. Hopefully we will be able to defeat Colombia, well, the Colombian commune once and for all by taking all of their victory points. And so we also have some free dockyards. What do we do with those, you ask? Let's make some more, I guess, destroyers. These aren't very good ships, but it doesn't matter. We have tons of them at this point, I imagine. Let's go to our port, well, our capital to see that there. 28 ships. That's actually not that great, but it's whatever. We can just build up a ton of ships over time. We're mainly focusing on naval bombers anyway. But now let's unpause and continue the advance into the German Empire as well as maybe Belgium and Bohemia. We're also getting pretty close to Vin to Vienna. Take Vienna and that'll be it for the Austrian Empire probably, I imagine. And is that going to be it? Okay, no, we just zoomed in. We also have some divisions trying to push into Italy. It's not going exactly the best, but oh well. And we just had a naval battle here. We lost some convoys to the Austrian Empire Navy. And let's have some planes focus on Germany, I guess. Just move the airbase they're at. Go to southern Germany. Put a bunch of planes there up in the sky. Just to try and dominate that airspace for us. Put several thousand planes there. That would be good. And there we are. So that's going to be a lot of planes in that airspace now. More divisions have been trained. Those are garrison troops. 170-some divisions in the garrison army at this point. Can we please de defeat Colombia? What is the problem? Just take out these surrounded divisions, do that at least. And there's some enemy troops, well, some Canadian troops trying to advance, it looks like, into Colombia. Well, Venezuela actually moved one division to go and stop them for now, just deter them, just keep them from going somewhere. Now let's try to destroy these troops here in this port area, take this port for, for the Sultanate of Mankind. More divisions have been created. Send them to South America. We're really trying to reinforce our presence there so we can just push into more areas on the continent and just take it over for our country. And how is the front in North Africa going? We were trying to push into Egypt. It's sort of going well. We may need to get a new order established. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to use these divisions to push more into Africa, probably. We're going to probably push up into the Suez Canal then just have the rest of this, what is this, the 5th Army advance more into Central Africa. And how's the front on West Africa going? There's tons of the enemy divisions here. Let's give this unit leader a new trait, give them infantry expert, that should give them a little help for their infantry divisions. How's the maximum support of divisions thing going for us now? It is still not that great. Yeah, that's not great at all. Or did I change it? No, it, ha it has to be, it depends, not on conscription law, what am I doing? It depends on the, what is this, the economy law. And currently we're just stuck on partial mobilization, so forget that then. 
more divisions for the garrison force. That's they're going to be sent off there. Naval combat. Well, we also have naval convoys and a naval battle. Keep pushing. We're getting closer and closer to Berlin as well as Vienna. We already took Zagreb from the well, from Illyria, and we're pushing the Italian Federation in where is this in Italy in the Italian Peninsula. We're getting closer to the southern part of that. Let's put a few of these divisions here of the the Ninth Army. Just have them watch this area. We have some more divisions. We need some infantry divisions to go to the Ninth Army. Who I think lost some divisions, or they just didn't have that many to begin with. Relatively speaking, they just had like 19. And they participated. Well, their goal is to just been to push into Italy. And we're going to take Naples, Naples very soon. A bunch of Italian Federation troops are just surrounded here. Yeah, they're just going to get destroyed, probably. And research slot available once more. Let's do, I don't know, inclined belt cruiser armor scheme. Get that done. More infantry divisions are okay. The it looks like the Italian Federation is dead, per se. Now let's take parts of Romania, I guess, or not. Never mind. Take parts of Italy. Just in turn pass. Take this part of Sardinia. Get that under our control. Pass. Take more of Italy. Just focus on taking parts of Italy, I guess. That would work fine with me. Take all of this. Take Abruzzo, Rome. Do we take Sicily? I mean, nobody else was in the Italian peninsula but us at the very end, so we should be able to take it. So grab all of this too. Calabria. Calabria. Take Anzio. Get Sicily. And can we take part of Romania? It looks like we can. Let's do that just to annoy the... annoy. The, well, maybe take a bit of Bulgaria as well. Take a bit of Romania just to annoy the Austrians who fought so hard for it, it looks like. Capture all this. Pass. Take whatever. Can we take something? Okay, good, we can. Take Bessarabia. Take these provinces, these states here. Get Moldavia. Okay, we can't get Moldavia. Let's get the rest of Corsica, though. In turn, take that. No, take more. Yeah, we took the rest of Sardinia. And now let's take this western Salonika. Just acquire... Okay, never mind. Greece took that. Forget that, then. We're done, though. And what is left? And, yeah, that's done. Where is the where's the Italian Federation, the last Italy standing? And where is Italy at this point? What's left of them? San Marino? Oh no, that's awkward. I just left the Italian Federation in San Marino by accident. Okay, let's justify them. That's awkward. That's very awkward. Just conquer them. I'm sorry, Pius XII. This is, this is such an embarrassment, but we have to invade you once again. I didn't mean to banish you. I didn't mean to kick you out of the Vatican and put you in San Marino. I didn't even realize that was its own state in this mod. Whatever. And so Paraguay has capitulated to our forces, take all those states, and that's one country out of our war in South America. Well, yeah, they're gone now. They're going to be under our control. Just annex everything there. In turn, pass and annex everything else. In turn. And let's continue the push. We're probably going to have a few divisions try to go for maybe Brazil at this point and have them spread out slightly. There we are. And have them, yeah, just advance, go into the Peru-Bolivian Confederation as well as Brazil, get toward Rio de Janeiro, that would be good. Now let's have them begin that offensive line order. There we are. And how is this army faring here, the the 11th Army? They're mainly in Paraguay, I guess? No, Uruguay. They're trying to push down there. More infantry divisions are ready to go. Send them off to the, who is this? Send them to the... 13th Army, who's in Colombia still. We did kick those enemy divisions out of northern Colombia. Well, I think, yeah, we did do that. Let's try to drive these Canadians off, move on the Colombian, Colombian capital now. Well, it wasn't the original capital. They fell back to that place. And more garrison divisions are ready to be sent off somewhere in our Sultanate, in our huge domain. And Montenegro has capitulated. Okay. And we are done justifying on San Marino. I'm sorry, Pope. We have to do this again twice now so let's declare war on the italian federation or not can we declare war on you we don't we shouldn't have a peace a truce with the okay we do that ends in 1942 well it ends later in october which is the month the game is in right now more factories get more guns you know the standard at this point just make tons of rifles and we might start using more military factories for the production of aircraft that might be a good idea because, honestly, we're going to need tons of naval bombers to try and navally invade places like Japan. That will be something we need for certain. 
And let's go here and change this order. Well, production, now produce the latest naval bombers. Can we start making some new stuff as well? Let's go to aircraft again. I don't know, let's get tactical bombers research. We didn't, we didn't even have that researched at the start of this playthrough. Get inter interwar armored cars, also grab special forces. That's gonna be done. Unassigned divisions, garrison troops, okay. Can we attack them yet? Okay, no we can't, that's Crete. Are we at war with Crete? Forget that then. What war goal? Okay, we just gotta wait, we gotta wait. And let's unpause once more, continue our drive into Germany and into Austria. How is Vienna still alive? I don't get it. They have, oh, they have tons of troops there. That may explain it. The Sarajevo Accords are really trying to hold on to that, aren't they? And our units have made it into Albania. They have reached Greece at this time. And they're pushing into Hellas and hopefully trying to take... They're going to eventually take Epirus. Yeah, they're going to definitely take that, I think. Take this port here. And let's also start giving, giving the 4th Army more orders to do some other stuff now. Defend these ports here, just in case. They really got their work cut out for them, honestly. Just garrison everything we capture is a nightmare. For In terms of getting a, enough divisions to do it, garrison Rome, Sicily, all these places down here. There's no hope in them garrisoning every, garrison garrison everything. Maybe just have them guard naval bases. We'll just do that. That would be easier on them. So they do that now. Get all that done. And so there we are. Well, actually, no. Garrison victory points, anyway. Just have them do that just in case we overlook some defensive idea. Well, some area we accidentally don't have any troops nearby to guard victory points. And we are pushing here. We surrounded those Canadian troops in South America. The Dominion of Canada is being surrounded down there. Can we push here, please? Advance. And how is... Okay, Uruguay is going to be gone very soon. The Peru-Bolivian Confederation might be as well. And once they're gone, all we'll have left is Guana and Ecuador and Colombia, who is so, still alive somehow. It is impressive they have such resilience. More divisions already. Send them off to South America. That's done. And Vienna is holding out for now. We have some encircled troops, it looks like, in Baden. I think it's called that. Whatever. I guess we got to rescue. No, they're actually fine. They're just in a very convoluted position. And let's actually change up our battle plan here for the first well the army group one who's doing a lot of they're really extended out now in Europe and just have them do a new battle order new offensive line to make things cleaner for us do this so their, their goal now is to take say up to Constantinople and the rest of Germany so let's unleash that offensive line now and continue our offensive into Europe and there's no hope for us getting into Belgium anytime soon. Hopefully, once we defeat the German Empire, they will fall alongside it. We just can't concentrate enough troops everywhere, honestly. Let's make some more fighters, get that done. Put more, a lot more factories on fighters. And yeah, that will help with fighter production extensively. Keep pushing into it. Greece. How is Greece surviving? They are. They're just doing it. Can we attack San Marino yet? The Italian Federation that's stuck in San Marino. Conquer them. And just moving. They had no troops, obviously, because they lost all of those when they were defeated as the Italian Federation. Yeah, they're gone. They had some trains and some rifles, though, so that's nice. We have more of that in our stockpile of equipment, I guess. Let's keep pushing here. There is a naval invasion from the Ottomans in North Africa. Oh, well, that's in Tunisia. That is annoying, but whatever. And we also have tons of Ottoman troops in Egypt, which is making a problem for us in terms of advancing. Let's send the 9th Army here to perhaps, yeah, send them into Austria. Hopefully they can take Vienna. Well, no, they'll go to Bohemia. Yeah, just have them move into, say, Central Europe a little bit. Yeah, they'll do that. Just focus on getting down here, take all this for us, and that'll be all. All they got to do with the 9th Army, who's finished in Italy, they're leaving the Italian Peninsula now. And how much more of a victory, how many more victory points do we need from Austria now, I wonder. The German Empire is going to be some time before they fall, and Malta is a major member of their faction for some reason. Bohemia is going to collapse very soon. They're going to be capitulated anyway. And it's going to be just Austria that has to fall. How much war score does Austria have? They need 20% or less, and probably Vienna is what's keeping them alive, frankly. Bohemia is capitulated, okay. More divisions are ready. Send them to South America. Just reinforce our lines in South America. 
the National Indigenous Federation declared war on the Dominion of Canada, and the National Indigenous Federation is Beringia, which I think will get a lot of troop. I'm not really sure. They're led by Elwood Towner, a national populist. And how are we doing here in South America? We're still pushing. That's good. We're making our way into Brazil. We took out Paraguay and Uruguay almost. Well, no, Uruguay is still holding out, but not for long. And I'm going to end part 18 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.